and i'm joined here by the manager of the team balan alaskan knights gm abhijit kunte abhijit the global chess league is now a week away how happy are you with your team selection i'm very happy we have a very balanced team i will say that uh, we have uh, some seniors like rajabhav and batashvili and then we have uh, uh, two world rapid champions uh, abdul sattar and uh, tan and we of course have nepo and uh, ronak on the first and uh, sixth board so we are hopeful that uh, we will have some interesting games in the tournament yeah it's a very nice mix because you have nepo rajja who are very experienced and abdul sattar is one of the rising talents but he's in the main he's going to play in the men section and then you have raunak who's very talented as well so uh, did it work out for you the way you wanted uh, in when it came to team selection well, you know like what you what you plan never happens as you know but you always have plan b plan c plan d <laughs> so of course it worked out uh, we have a very balanced team that's what i will say and of course all the teams are very strong because if you see the pool of the players everybody was very strong so whatever team we choose it is going to be good and all the teams are balanced and this is the first time that we are going to have a mixed team event with senior senior junior and age group plus different countries together uh, i think this format has never been tested so this will be the first time where we'll be playing in this format and it's going to be very interesting uh, which other team do you think apart from yours is a big favorite i think our team is the favorite yes after yours after us uh, i will say that uh, of course uh, you know every team has pluses and minuses so i don't want to go into the strength and weaknesses but i like the composition of uh, uh, umumba they have a good uh, ampi harika very strong on the women team then you have uh, in the alsan and vikesh and gopal and uh, L- sgl point warriors point warriors so they are also good and i think all the teams are balanced you know it depends because it's 15 minutes rapid game so whoever is in the form on that particular day and he is going to win the game you know we know that when you were the coach of the indian team for the olympiad you had made lot of preparations lot of thought behind it oh, when it comes to this event what would be your role i think the role is very limited because uh, i think we didn't get enough time and uh, we have only a week to you know plan anything so it's all up to the players the new plan in indian team we know the player in and out and it's very uh, easy to plan for them and we had got 3 months to prepare in which as all on card and also in world team championship so we had a lot of time in our hands but this is going to be a quick and this is going to be a rapid match of 15 minutes so uh, you know it's going to be uh, more quick and uh, now the captain role is very limited as you can't interfere in the games you can't uh, recommend to your players about draw offers so captain role is now very limited and we have only one board order so you can't change the board order so it's only on day one when you do the board order and then uh, rest it's all up to the players right absolutely when it comes to over the board league you were one of the pioneers uh, maharashtra chess league happened uh, i think the first edition happened in 2013 yes so it was almost 10 years ago and now this league is happening with a very big sponsor like tech mahindra who's also the organizer what does it mean for you as a chess lover as someone who's witnessed chess over the years i think the concept with which uh, we started maharashtra chess league is endorsed now uh, by tech mahindra and we also had almost similar format with two men player three men and uh, we had one rated player instead of uh, under 21 and also you would randomize it so anyone could face anyone so uh, we didn't had i can't play the concept but uh, i think everybody enjoyed playing mcl and uh, the time control was different up to the 25 minutes i think but it was fun i think and uh, i think still people tell me that you organize the mcl again yes. and they are willing to play i i was i played it two occasions and it was amazing so so maybe this year we will organize now since the league is taking a new new boost and we are organizing a pyc chess league for the members exactly on same dates 
we have the finals on first and second wow. in Pune and we will soon start the MCA. Amazing. And Tech Mahindra is also the coming into this, it's a nice thing for chess. Tech Mahindra can have a lot of value because they have technology and uh, the user experience can be at different level with the intervention of the company with, you know, which is highly working with AI. And we are hopeful that we, we are going to see something brilliant uh, in this year. And I want to ask you about uh, something, your role in FIDE, you were also part uh, of the Education uh, Commission and recently Jerry Nash who is the chairman came to India and when I asked him how did he come here he said that Abhijit invited me you have this knack of uh, sort of bringing people together what was your thought behind that and uh, bringing him to India so the chess in education concept is completely different than what we are doing in chess in schools and chess in education is basically using chess as an educational tool to teach STEM subjects that's the whole concept that it will help. Like we tell everyone that uh, you know, introducing chess will help the child. But uh, this concept actually helps children to learn the concepts of science, math, engineering and technology through chess, which can be easily adopted by them. So uh, this thought was very interesting for me. And when I attended the conference in London on chess in education, uh, there were so many surveys and research reports which were produced and which said that when there is a deliberate attempt to link chess and uh, STEM subjects, it gave better results than just teaching randomly chess. So this deliberate attempt uh, is very important, that's what I felt and this concept is new to India. So I thought since Jerry has been a teacher himself for 25 plus years and he's been using these techniques for his children and the 21st century skills or management skills which can be taught through chess. So I thought that if Jerry comes here, it will be a good uh, thinking process for the leaders in chess and education in India in different states. So uh, he visited about 6 to 7 states and I think it was a very hectic journey yes. for him. <laughs> but, <laughs> but did uh, it work out well? Yeah, I think he. it was wonderful. Uh, he gave seminars to the teachers, she spoke with a lot of uh, leaders in the education sector, with the government people. And the overall response was good and I think uh, I am not expecting an immediate result but this thought has to come into the process that is very important initially. Fantastic. And lastly I want to ask you, you are here in Mumbai uh, and today at the Chess Base India Chess Club here in Phoenix Market City. Uh, how did you find the overall vibe of this place? I think you started it just because of me, I think. Yeah? Because when we spoke long back and uh, I told you that there is nothing to play in Mumbai and you started this chess club. But unfortunately, I could not come here. And I think it's a great place and great concept. I must congratulate Sagar, you, Amruta and the Chess Best India for starting this. And I wish you all the best to start it in more cities. Thank you. you know, people can come together and enjoy chess. Thank and, you so much. Uh, thank you for playing few games today. Yes, and you beat me in all of them. So, <laughs> right now you're feeling very... Actually, you're unbeaten here in the club. You also played with Vedant and you drew that game. Uh, but Abhijit, uh, always a pleasure talking to you and wish you and your team, the Balan Alaskan Knights, the best for the Global Chess League. Thank you. Thank you, sir.